Hello. Uh, today we'll talk about two architects, both connected with uh, uh, with this uh, day of uh, July 6. Well, we are in 2023. First, let's talk about uh, Willem, Willem uh, Marinus Dudok, a Dutch architect. Both architects are Dutch, uh, are Dutch um, or were Dutch. Uh, Dudok died in 1974, while Her Hermann Herzberger still lives. He's, I think, 90, 91 years old today. Uh, let's talk first about uh, this very important Dutch architect who was one of the fathers of uh, modern architecture in, in the Netherlands. As you can see, born on, on 6, July, 6 of July 1884, was a Dutch modernist architect. He was born in Amsterdam. He became city architect for the town of Hilversum in 1928, where he was best known for the brick Hilversum town hall completed in 1931, so when he was uh, 37 years old. Not only did he design the building, but also the interior, including the carpets, the furniture, and even the mayor's meeting hammer. He also designed and built about 75 houses, public buildings, and entire neighborhoods. This was the man, uh, and... Um, why is it that the Dutch have so many important architects? Incredible. I mean, really, the, the list is, uh, is without an end. Something about them, maybe because they live under the level of, of the sea, one third of the country. Maybe that helps. Some drawings by Dudok. Um, so, uh, again, you know, th this is a man who was uh, born in 1884. So he was actually three years older than Le Corbusier. So we see here a very uh, clearly modernistic architecture. For someone who was born before 1890 in the 19th century to design something like this is uh, rather astonishing. So these are just drawings. We'll, we'll, we'll look at his uh, built work, and he did build. The city hall in Hilversum, perhaps his most important work from 1928 to 1931. Uh, there is a certain formal theme in his work that there is this uh, vertical element, which is quite vertical and assertive, and then uh, the rest of the building uh, rather horizontal with some uh, transitional elements. But all in all, this is the, a, a scheme, so to speak, that he uh, enjoyed employing uh, uh, rather often. We are going to see other buildings by him uh, kind of in the same way. But this uh, city hall that he built is uh, his masterwork by all means. And I like the fact that it's, uh, you know, a uh, reinterpretation in a certain uh, way of uh, Frank Lloyd Wright applied to the realities of, of uh, uh, the Netherlands, of Europe. And uh, I think he did a remarkable job here. There are very refined parts, as you can see, even so-called details. Um, it's, it's, it's clearly a work that is very convincing in its massing and it, it's, um, you know, the interlocking of various parts that come together. It's, it's, it has a certain monumentality. It's, it's big, as you can see the plan. It's a big, uh, it's a big building, but uh, it's, well, the, 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 the spire, uh, the tower is uh, rather dominant in my opinion, maybe a little bit too dominant. I mean, it, being that it is a city hall, um, you could uh, perhaps uh, have some, um, you know, um, uh, not fears, but uh, it depends. If you have a problematic relationship with, uh, with the authority, um, maybe you, uh, could have some trepidation in the proximity of this impressive tower here in the corner.
Willem Dudok. Nice the building in the reflection in the water nearby as well. Brick, because the Dutch are masters of using the brick. Impeccable uh, brickwork. Uh, maybe it was refurbished, but still. And look at this slab, you know, it's, it's elegant, it's uh, refined, it's, um, it's uh, thin, rather thin, and everything works uh, uh, splendidly. The only, you know, um, question I have to an extent is the, the, the rhetorics of the tower. In my opinion, it's a little bit too rhetorical. Otherwise, I like very, very much this building. They take care of it, of course. A school, 1921-1922, Dr. Banwick School. You see the same architect and the same, um, you know, formal composition. In the corner, a tower, and then the building, uh, you know, uh, asserting itself horizontally in a certain way. But you can tell it's the same architect. Dudok, Willem Dudok. I don't even know if I pronounce correctly. Is it Willem or uh, uh, Willem? Perhaps Willem, but I, I am not sure. I have a problem with the Dutch language. Uh, often uh, I, I, I feel intimidated by it and I, I search for, there is a site called, uh, uh, you know, how to pronounce correctly names. And I'm sure that this, this, this name can be found there too. It's very possible. I, I already checked it and I forgot I forgot the, the correct pronunciation. So a school which is not very, very different formally from the city hall that we just saw, another school, this one a little bit different, but still in the corner is the, the emphatic architectural element here, not so tall, but curved. Um, here is also the color different. The redness is an invitation for the students, for the, for the, for the pupils to, uh, you know, uh, be rebellious. I'm joking, no school probably uh, invites uh, uh, to, to rebellion, but uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe in the Netherlands, uh, uh, they have an educational system which uh, advocates um, uh, more freedom and uh, even uh, iconoclasm. But you see by now, this is the third building by Dudok where he employs kind of the same uh, uh, formal composition, you know, a vertical uh, element uh, towards the corner and then two sides in L, uh, you know, with the with the functions of the of the of the building. I like the fact that it is red. Maybe we should make all schools in the world red. But here we see in this illustration, maybe it wasn't so red originally. I don't know. Here it doesn't seem to be um, as it is here. And this is a postcard, probably from around the time when when it was built. A department store, unfortunately, was destroyed. We already saw uh, two renderings uh, of, of the project. The one that I said that it was quite, uh, quite modern. It was a remarkable department store, but destroyed in the Second World War when Rotterdam was uh, in good measure destroyed. It was terrible, of course. Here it is. Now look at the building and look at the cars. They have nothing in common. 
the cars tell you that uh, you know this is a picture from before the second world war maybe you know around the year 1930 but the building if this building we look at now was built now you know all the, the e signs and uh, magazines and so on will will uh, will uh, consider it highly contemporary, but it was built almost uh, 100 years ago. It was an excellent building, yes. And this is the, the rendering by Mr. Tudok. Uh, between the rendering and the actuality, the actuality of the building uh, as built, there isn't a great distance, no. Rotterdam, 1930, a department store. Another picture with it. Again, you know, uh, almost alarmingly modern. Now a monument from 1932. Uh, I'm not don't know exactly what this monument was for, although someone who lived in the Netherlands and participated in a Zoom presentation uh, two years ago, she did say something about this, but I forgot what the story was. This is near the water, and uh, I think it has nobility, it has dignity, it is uh, a monument, but without historicism, it commemorates something. Um, Willem Dudok. Cité Universitaire in, in France, uh, the college uh, of the Dutch college in, in Paris, 1939. Again, the same scheme towards the corner, a vertical element, and then two sides, kind of like in an L, with the functions, uh, you know, distributed probably around the corridor or on one side of a corridor. I think this is the, you know, the, you know, the sculpture that represents the architect. I could be wrong, but it does seem to have some resemblance to the architect. Um, the same person who told me about that monument also told me that the, this map shows the, you know, the colonies of the Netherlands in Southeast Asia. Uh, so, you know, the Dutch had an extended, uh, extended uh, uh, land, so to speak, extended territories. Uh, it was refurbished. The building uh, is that's how it is now in Paris at the uh, Cité Université. Willem Dudok.
Finch room is uh, uh, almost identical with the room uh, in uh, Erasmus House in Vienna, uh, where I spent uh, some time during three years when I initiated the so-called summer school for uh, architecture students. I think that that building, which was much newer, uh, inspired, find, found some inspiration in this building by Dudok because um, it, or maybe it's a scheme uh, that is uh, often employed. I don't know, but the resemblance is uh, astonishing between this room and uh, the room of uh, Erasmus House in Vienna. City Theater in Utrecht, 1941. I like the fact that it's not very assuming. Uh, you know, it has a, an urban quality, but uh, it's not, uh, uh, you know, uh, very, very uh, assertive. And the pragmatism of the Dutch somehow um, uh, cohabits with, um, you know, certain aesthetical values that are, uh, uh, you know, advocating uh, some kind of a democratic, uh, well, if you say modernism, almost by, by necessity, you say democracy, because uh, the, modern, the modern spirit is uh, rather, or should be, or could be, uh, almost exclusively democratic in spirit. So this theater is, uh, Probably saying uh, I am I am I am the theater of, uh, of, uh, of the proletarians in Utrecht. I it's it's just I, what I'm imagining. It's it's very possible. I, I it never crossed the mind of uh, Mr. Dudok uh, to represent uh, a democratic spirit per se or willfully, but. That's what I see. An Exxon gas station. Well, gas is king still, uh, even at the time of uh, pollution and uh, climate change. Uh, I don't know. I mean, yes, long live the car. I don't know what this is. Uh, who is his house? Uh, yeah, it's a city hall. And I think it, 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 is, a, it is a good work. So based on that scheme, you know, a vertical and then some, but here there is a, something a little different because of the large, uh, maybe gathering space on the left, and then the individual offices on the right, and in between them, the you know, the assertion of authority. Okay, so let's wish him happy birthday. And if you want, we can, uh, we can uh, talk a little bit about, uh, about this building, about this architect, actually. 